What is up, beautiful people of YouTube? My name is your Tessic, and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. Uh, this is part seven, I believe. Yes, seven. All right, guys, let's get into it. We got a lot to cover with you today. We got a lot to show you today. Let's go ahead and pause it real quick so I can just show you, just catch you up a little bit. We did not go too crazy on building stuff. This is the only one more, I guess, what do you want to call it, block or grid. We added a commercial here, and we added this residential. Another thing I'm trying to do is... Um, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on City Skyline, so instead of having two like outlets for a residential area that's not even that big, I just added one. So this one right here, we demolished it, and then it goes here. So for this area, they will go from here, and this area that will go from here. Another thing that I did is just kind of uh, the whole central bus station idea doesn't make sense if they're not actually central. So the lines started and ended in a place besides the bus hub, or um, yeah, this is the bus depot. So what I basically did is redid the same lines, but made sure both the line for residential zone three and residential zone two start and end over here. So this way they can bounce between each other. It's been very effective, and I'm just emptying this out to move it here. Now, one thing that I was doing kind of when I'm touching base here and there, uh, one thing that I've been noticing is this area in particular, this boulevard and this area can get a lot of traffic. So we added this roundabout here. Um, I have the roundabout plugin, so the reason why you don't see it as a perfect circle is not from me. Um, that's just how it is so that that's what we got going on now today uh last episode i said we can't unlock or uh why can't i buy more tiles i forgot that tiles get unlocked as population goes on so we can't really unlock anything right now until population goes on i'm trying to find a mod so once again j army if you know a mod that can get this ugly color out of here let's do it i, I just find it very unrealistic that uh 13,000 people can create this much sewage pollution that it gets all the way to the ocean or sea, whatever this is right here. So let's let me know if you guys figure that out. Now, um, last episode we touched base about how um, maybe I should have done a highway over here. The more I build here, the the harder it's gonna be. It seems like uh, one thing I do want to do is this right here. I want to go ahead and upgrade it to a three-way lane highway and show you guys why I'm doing that in just a second. Uh, we're gonna do it one way well it is a one way right oh is this a one way is this four lane no we need like a we need just a three lane highway all right let's see hopefully it goes it can go all the way around okay if we're gonna delete a building that's fine okay and now the reason why we're doing this is because of this reason right here so let's go ahead and just uh for example we are gonna till this lane well, first and foremost, let's go ahead and turn this lane on, only to the, only to go to the right. If you're on the right side, and we're gonna tell these folks that when they're merging in, they're only gonna go from the left to the right. So that's it um, for that one, okay? And we're gonna basically repeat the same steps here as well. Which is tell these folks if you're turning, that's fine, but you're only turning to this lane. And we're gonna go ahead and tell them that the middle lane is not gonna be turning. The middle lane keeps going straight. Vice versa with these guys, when they're turning on, they only turn on here to the furthest lane. Because this intersection is getting very, very busy as well, or this roundabout. So, actually, we can not even do that. We can, what we could do is this. Once you change it, automatically just change. And there we go. Bam, bam. And these guys here. See, like, I don't want them turning all the way from the left lane all the way to the left lane. That's just not doing it for me. And on over here, you gotta go like this. And I don't know why these guys are. I mean, for this one, it's a little different, but I'm still gonna have them try to go to the to the max lane right there. So that's basically, you know, th this is basically just, I guess, maintenance in the city. You know what I mean? It's stuff that you do that's going to help in the long run. Um, it's meticulous work. And obviously, I'm not going to show you guys every time I do this because I'm sure you guys are probably not trying to see it every time I do it. But, okay, like this, this right here. You see what I mean? That's how it slows down is when people are trying to go straight and these people are turning. Uh, so I'm going to have to tell these guys to also keep going straight, I guess, because they keep going to the left lane there we go so this should be all good to go here everybody should be all happy i think i need to remind these guys to also go 
stay in your lane. So stay in your lane and go straight. There we go. And one more thing that we can do right here is, I believe, was it this one? I think it was this one. We gotta tell these guys keep going straight. Tell these guys you have, just keep, keep the traffic moving, keep the traffic moving, and keep the traffic moving. So there we go. So now this lane can just keep, keep going freely because they have their own dedicated lane and they can switch lane, lanes down the road. But as you can see, this area uh, is, is getting very, very busy. So is this area right here. So this is perfect. And now it just keeps the traffic flowing and going more smoothly as you saw right here. Now we need residential now, like I said. One of the things that we are having uh, interesting time with uh, is, is we're not going to really have a highway here. However, I did update this to three lane road once again with dedicated left lane to just turning left. So that should help. Now, as far as these places right here, we can go ahead and add, I guess, a little more, a little more residential this area. Let's go ahead and do that. Go this way. Go this way. And I'm not really trying to have it connect there, so I'll go ahead and put it right here. Just a little, just a little different, like I said. Mix it, mix it up a little bit. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, that actually does not look bad at all now because we have we have it kind of connected where there's like two outlets for it technically. It's actually three. They can uh, they can get out from here. They can get out from there, and they can get out from here. Let's go ahead and build this. Build this. Build this. Since we do have uh, a demand for residential still, so that's great. That's a lot of stuff here. Let's go ahead and get them. Make sure to get the water. Everybody needs water. You'll die without water. Drink your water, kids. I personally drink a lot of water. I like drinking water. I love drinking. Man, talking about drinking water makes me want to drink water. Okay, this facility is finally empty. I wanted to move it, but I couldn't move it because it wasn't empty. So what we're going to do is go ahead and officially move it out so we can go ahead and uh, stop emptying. We could go ahead and use it again, but obviously we did this. So we can go ahead and upgrade this road to a boulevard. We just couldn't move it until the cemetery was empty and it is empty. So there we go. There we are. Of course, one of the issues that we have with this is that if they come from the outside from the highway, they're going to have to use either this bridge or that bridge because there is no highway once again. Um, so that's really one of the bummers or one of the reasons why I wish I did create a highway here. But I feel like at this point, we're just so, uh, we're so heavily in that creating a highway is going to be a little bit hard uh, you know it's not gonna be the easiest for sure it's not gonna be the easiest at all so I mean it's kind of like one of them things we just gotta go we gotta roll with what we have right now okay so we're having some blackouts in the city once again I don't think the megawatts reading in this game is very accurate at least in my situation but uh, one of my subscribers have told me that sometimes you got to make sure you have electric sources closer that's why at times it it doesn't show up very accurate. So we're going to actually go ahead and how much are these? These are 6,080 a week. We're going to go ahead and just get a few built up here on the, on the mountain. Because uh, I don't want to put up necessarily a a, um, a power or any type of power plant in this area. Just for pollution reasons. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do this. And see if this does a trick for them or not. Let's see. Does this do the trick at all? Doesn't look like these things are even moving. What? Why are they not moving? Are they, there's there, there's no wind or what? Why didn't it tell me if there's? Oh, I see why. I see why now. Never mind. It needs to be on top of a mountain for it to actually be effective. There we go. It needs to be like in an area. Forgot all about that. So we just kind of spent money on those for no reason. You can see how fast these are going now. So it needs to be on top of a mountain or something. Uh, let's go ahead and get these out of here. Yes, yes. I wish you didn't have to ask me every single time, but it does, unfortunately. And we're going to go ahead and get those underground power lines up to here. Yay, there we go. That did it. That actually looks very, very nice. Look at that. Look at that. That looks really nice. That looks very nice. We are becoming a big city. And look at that. We're almost 1 million there. Population is going up. Uh, the demand for commercial is still up, even though it's, 
well I guess more workers have showed up now so that's good but um we can we build more residential or should we build over here I say we go ahead and build a little more over here since it's kind of already laid up for residential area here as well so let's go do this and let's go ahead and do it all right come on mute this there we are and there we go oh, that's gonna look pretty let's see can i get creative with this i don't know how creative we can get with this but oh that looks kind of pretty doesn't it huh look at that with the park there and stuff i'm just being funky with oh it looks like a boat it does look like a boat i'm being funky with with the designs because um like i said i don't want it to be like just a plain old city that just looks the same everywhere I want it to be I want it to be different for sure I want it to, to look different I want it to feel different I don't want it to be a plane just block after block after block now one thing I do want to talk to you guys about that's very very important is eventually what I plan on doing is uh, obviously start major projects whether it's a metro station project whether it's monorail monorail subway whatever it is uh, we're gonna have a lot of projects going uh, and we're gonna be doing a lot of projects another thing I want to kind of talk to you guys about is as far as as far as unlocking all the tiles i've really been contemplating you know i like to play games like this with money and make it challenging and whatnot but i feel like the tiles part is not really quote unquote cheating or is not really taking a shortcut because you know we obviously needed to expand we're very good at money and all of that stuff and and you know we already kind of not proved but because we're still early in the game anything could go but kind of got comfortable with building things and we we showed that we can build indeed build things and all that stuff so i kind of want to maybe just unlock all the tiles and just go from there the problem with that becomes obviously is um is traffic gets accounted for for all the tiles and uh you know for example if i unlock all these tiles the traffic problem is going to be counted here so we're kind of adding stuff to our plate that we're not really there yet um, because you know if we take a look at the overall traffic in the city for example this is getting based off what we have unlocked once we unlock everything this area right here in red will become our problem all that stuff so that's kind of what I mean so there's a good side and a downside to it but let me know what you guys think um, I keep seeing them coming using the street and I don't know why they should just keep going straight I'm not sure what's up with that why are they even using that street but there we go think there could be oh there we go we have the crematorium now and water treatment plant we're definitely going to be using both of these so we reach 15,000 population here uh let's go ahead and uh first and foremost see what others speaking of buying which which plot are we planning on buying um i say we buy this one for the reason being that it's kind of awkward right now um there we go it's kind of awkward of, of how things are here like you know just cut off straight on and we can use this area so we bought this one now water treatment plant for sure we're gonna use here to get this ugly i'm pretty sure there's a mod or two out there maybe that just treats the water or treats the ugly color of the water there we go how much is this a week 640 a week i mean we got money but we also gotta want to make sure that you know um our our weekly budget is not going too crazy so let's go ahead and connect this to this connect this to this and we should be in business as far as treating the pollution in the water maybe two is a little too much but it doesn't matter i want to see what we can do with this uh with this ugliness here is it me or is this water i feel like maybe over flooding a little bit maybe it is maybe it's just me so 15,000 uh, 15, population we unlock this we're good to go on this side we can add a few more things here now we can actually add this boulevard to go a little bit deeper so that's what we're gonna do right now add this boulevard to go this way uh, there's a highway here isn't there is this a highway oh that's a street thought it was a highway but we are connected to this highway now so I'm do you want to add that boulevard to connect to the highway is a question maybe take some traffic off maybe possibly if we're gonna go that route then you know what i'll be more comfortable with with going with a six lane so let's uh eight lane road not eight lane, eight lane is a little too much six lane road go ahead build the bridge 
Is this like a water dam thing? Yeah, it is. Like not a water dam. What do you what do you call these things? Uh, um, what do you call them, man? The, the levy, I guess is what I'm looking for to say. Oh man, this this bridge is gonna be have a lot of turns and curves to it, isn't it? That's an ugly bridge, though. That's an ugly bridge. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Can we do something about it? Can we do something about the bridge. Make it look a little bit more. There we go. Like something like this. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think we can because it's 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 coming at curves. Yeah, I don't think we can. Uh, maybe we can. Yeah, there we go. I mean, better than what it used to look like, right? <laughs> that's 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 what it is. So better what it used to look like. And now we gotta try to connect these highways to this, just just as a temporary maybe highway access to these folks right here, so we can take some pressure off the other end. Um, how are we gonna go about this? Should we go with a roundabout? Let's go ahead and go with a roundabout. And go with a let's go with a three lane highway. And let's go with 480. I like the 80. Now we're gonna go free cursor. Now we're gonna go 80. There we are, 80. Bam. Oh, it's kind of elevated. I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna connect or not. Uh, yeah, that works out good actually. Some of these people are out of electricity again. No, they're not. Okay, I thought they were. So okay, and now, now the rest of it is pretty, pretty simple, right? We're just gonna add highway ramps to get off of the off of here. Why is it? Why is it like creating like a little tunnel? That's very strange. That is very very strange. We're gonna go take this. We go here. No man, I don't want it to be like at such a sharp angle. There we go and let's go take this it usually takes a little while for for them to actually recognize like oh i can get off here so i'm not really anticipating i'm using them right using it right away okay this one's gonna be oh yeah this one's gonna be hard i don't know how we're gonna do the exit for this one but obviously the exit is being used as well uh can we go from do we need to go up then down? Let's see, do we need to go this way? This way. Yep, that's what we need to do. And then go down. That's a long ramp. That's a long ramp if I've ever seen one. It's not, actually, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, considering the land terrain that we're working with, it doesn't look. Oh, look at that. Already, I'm. Whoo, wow, look at all these folks coming in. That's a lot of folks coming in already. Dang. So is that going to... I wonder if that's going to take pressure off of this area right here. I wonder if that's what this is going to do. If that's the case, then, you know, I'm glad we did it. Sign me up. But if they're taking that, they probably want to get back on this highway. So let's go ahead and get them a way to get back on this highway. We can probably just go through this, to be honest with you. All right, let's go. Oh, it's gonna be hard. This one's gonna be hard getting them back on there because like I said just because the terrain I mean this is not even legit This right here this dip right here is not even legit. I don't like that dip at all What we could do Let's see if we could do this actually What we could do is just do a simple ramp that goes from here connected to this one There we go and then for so that's for getting off for getting on oh, man getting on is gonna be hard how am i gonna do the getting on part we need to go like this what is this okay that makes more sense i get it that makes more sense i don't know how i don't know how serious that is in a roundabout in real life i don't think that they'd have that okay that's too long okay here we go you just, need, you just need to be ginger, I guess, with it, and go this way, go this way, and go this way. Um, For now, I'm not going to be... Oh, boy, this added way more traffic. 
I'm not gonna be that excited about it just yet just because of what's going on we, we we still gotta see what's going on there um obviously over here we gotta go ahead and tell them no only take a only only for left so we're gonna go ahead and tell them that this area right here if you're in the middle lane you can go straight right lane only go right and vice versa this one only goes to the left there we go and people i see people are already using it to get out so that's a very very huge lar large area um so i see people getting using that to get on the highway which is great but regardless of which way they want to get on or get off now they have the option over here like i said not the prettiest but this one of them things you gotta make you gotta make do with what you have and i think we're doing good five thousand population and the traffic is not really water good here look at that that's a really i like this area a lot this this literally became shaped like a boat i like it a lot uh, but going back to this one um it's it could be very very effective even them getting on the highway i see they're using that because i mean it's bad but it ain't that bad you know it, it's it's bad but it it's actually looks obviously it's not like perfect angles everywhere but it looks very very decent for what it is so i'm glad we unlocked this and i'm, I'm glad we did this because now they have another way to get into this area which is obviously a very 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 busy area but with that being said ladies and gentlemen i hope you guys did enjoy this episode let's go ahead and give you a little cinematic outro this episode was actually very cool we got a lot done we'll get still got a lot done but like i said i'm contemplating unlocking more tiles without waiting for population uh milestones because just like i said it just kind of makes more sense we need to build we have the money for it we need to expand quick and i don't feel like that's quote unquote cheating because we are using mods that are, don't have the games that's part of the mods and it doesn't really it doesn't really give us that big of advantage in the overall picture of things but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below with that being said my name is your and i am out. see you guys